this is for educational purposes only. If I'm doing something wrong, please check with your instructor. I am also a student. I am not a teacher. I am not an instructor. So I'm just doing this so that I can watch myself do it and to help a couple people around me as well. And I'm hoping I do everything right. I've gone over this a couple times, but like I said, if you see anything that you feel like I'm doing wrong or it's questionable, check with your instructor. And hit like, comment, and subscribe. Just subscribe to this channel, okay? Because I'm going to be taking y'all on a bunch of different... Um, I'm going to take you guys on my journey as an esthetician. So um, hit subscribe. I'm going to be playing a video as I'm doing my video. I'm going to be playing a video of me doing it as I'm doing my video. So hopefully it all comes out good. And I'm going to be reading off. I'll probably do a voiceover for the read off. So during the exam, I'm just going to have a small space. Um, this is my massage table. Um, I haven't done this exam yet, but that's what I hear, that you have a very small space. So I'm going to try to keep it as small as possible. Obviously, you won't come in and put your um, state board kit up there and you won't on the table and you won't have <clears throat> your, you know, any notes to read off of. But I am going to be reading off of these today. So you're going to put your state board kit, you're going to place your state board kit under your table. So my state work kit is under the table. Pre-exam setup and disinfection, two minutes. So you're gonna open your kit, you're gonna remove your trash bag, close your kit, and place your trash bag on the floor. As you see here, I didn't put the top back on mine, but you need to put your top back on yours before you you need to close your kit before you place your trash bag or trash can or gift bag or whatever you're using as a trash bag on the floor. Now you're going to open your kit, remove your pre-exam bag, close your kit, don't place it on the table yet. Now you're going to open your kit. You're going to take out your sanitizer and your EPA approved wipes and then close your bag. You're going to put your bag under your arm. You're going to take out your sanitizer. You're going to sanitize your hands. You're going to place your sanitizer on the table. Now you're going to grab an EPA approved disinfectant wipe. You're going to close your EPA. You're going to wipe down the table and the hand sanitizer that you just placed there. You're going to sanitize the EPA approved wipes and then place those on the table. You're gonna wipe down the bag that you just had under your arm and then place that on the table. Throw that wipe in the trash. Sanitize your hands. Step back, raise your hand. Pre-exam setup and disinfection, 10 minutes. You're gonna sanitize your hands, then you're gonna open your pre-exam setup and disinfection bag. You're gonna remove all the items from the bag, place them neatly on the table, and then you're gonna throw that gallon bag in the trash. You're gonna sanitize your hands. You're gonna step back and raise your hand. Skin cleansing setup, two minutes. You're gonna sanitize your hands, then you're gonna sanitize the table, then you're gonna sanitize your hands. Make sure you throw your wipe away.
Now you're going to open your kit and remove your mannequin head and your skin cleansing bag. Close the kit. Once your kit is closed, place the mannequin and skin cleansing bag on the table. Sanitize your hands, step back, and raise your hand. Skin cleansing, 15 minutes. You're going to sanitize your hands. Open skin cleansing bag and remove all the items and place neatly on the table. Then throw your skin cleansing bag away and sanitize your hands. Place head drape on mannequin, sanitize your hands. Now you're gonna do makeup remover. You're gonna grab two cotton rounds. You're gonna saturate them with makeup remover over the trash can you're going to place them on the mannequin's eyes just like we do in class you'll go ahead and do the eyes one at a time make sure you brace and then you're going to throw those cotton rounds away you're going to do those separately then you're going to throw those away then you're going to do the lip cleansing you're going to remove the lip makeup just like you learned in class and then you're going to throw that away you're going to grab a extra cotton round for the lips you're not going to use the same one um, but you're going to pour makeup or spray makeup remover over the trash can before you do the lip cleansing and then you're going to throw that away Now you're gonna grab your cleanser. Make sure whatever you're simulating as your cleanser is actually soapy. You're gonna pour that in your hand over the trash can, spray it or whatever the case may be, over the trash can, place the top back on, put it on the table, and you're going to apply cleanser to the face all over. Manipulations do not matter on this one. Now you're going to remove all residual makeup and cleanser with 4x4s or cotton rounds. You're going to trash those cotton rounds or 4x4s. Then you're going to spray two cotton rounds with toner over the trash. Wipe the mannequin with toner evenly, making sure the mannequin is not wet. Then you're going to throw those cotton rounds away. Now you're going to remove any remaining products from skin cleansing scenario. You're going to throw them away. Then you're going to remove the head drape. Throw that away. Sanitize your workstation. 
You're going to look around and make sure you didn't drop anything. Then you're going to sanitize your hands, step back, and raise your hand. Skin analysis set up two minutes. You're going to sanitize your hands, sanitize your table, your workstation, and then you're going to sanitize your hands again. Now you're going to open your kit and remove your skin analysis bag. Close your kit. Then place your skin analysis bag on the table. Sanitize your hands. Step back and raise your hand. Skin analysis. You're going to sanitize your hands. Open your skin analysis bag and remove all needed items. So right now we're doing all three, but they're only going to call one. So I'm going to go through all three scenarios, but they will only call one. So at that time, you would just remove what you need. You would throw every other scenario away. So you're going to sanitize your hands, apply head drape and sanitize your hands again. Facial steaming. So you're going to take your pre moistened towel out of the bag. You're going to throw the bag away. You're going to wring the towel out over the trash can. Test the temperature on your wrist on both sides. One, two, one, two. Drape the towel to cover the face. Gently lift the towel. You're going to do compressions too. Then you're going to gently lift the towel off the face. Throw the towel away. Moisten two cotton rounds with toner over the trash can, apply it to the face, then throw the cotton pads away, the cotton rounds away. And that's the end of that scenario. Mask application. 
Remove the mask and the mask brush from the small bag and throw the bag away. Throw away the mask and the makeup brush. Now you're going to take one of your dry towels. You're going to simulate as if it were wet. You're going to wring it out over the trash can and you're going to test the temperature on your wrist. Drape the towel to cover the face. Do the compressions that you would normally do. Remove residual mask or traces thoroughly. Throw the towel away. Now you're going to moisten two cotton rounds with toner over the trash can and apply it to the face. Then throw the cotton rounds away. That's the end of this scenario. Moisturizer application. Remove towel from bag. You're, this is one of your dry towels. You're gonna wring it out over the trash can. You're gonna simulate it as if it was a hot towel. You're gonna drape the towel over the face. Gently lift the towel from the face. Throw the towel away. Moisten two cotton pads with toner over the trash and apply them to the face. Then throw the cotton rounds away. Now you're going to apply moisturizer with fingers. That's the end of this scenario. Now you're going to throw away any remaining products from the skin analysis scenario. Remove head drape, throw it away. Sanitize workstation. Look around, make sure nothing is on the floor. Pick up anything off the floor if there is anything. If you pick up anything off the floor, you want to sanitize it in your hands. Then you're going to sanitize your workstation. You're going to sanitize your hands. Step back and raise your hand. Basic facial service set up two minutes. Sanitize your hands. Sanitize your workstation, sanitize your hands.
Open your kit, remove basic facial bag, close your kit, place basic facial bag on the table, sanitize your hands, step back and raise your hand. Basic facial service, 15 minutes. Sanitize hands, open bag, the basic facial bag, remove all needed items, throw the basic facial bag away. Sanitize your hands again. Apply head drape, sanitize your hands. Apply massage product all over the face. Ensure that the skin does not pull. Apply head drape. You're going to demonstrate effleurage all over the face. Put on your gloves. Demonstrate pesticides all over the face. And demonstrate tapotment all over the face. With cotton rounds, remove all remaining product from the mannequin's face. Throw away the cotton rounds. Throw any remaining products from the basic facial scenario away. Remove head drape. Throw that away. Sanitize workstation. Look around. Make sure nothing is on the floor. Sanitize your hands. Step back and raise your hand. Tweezer and waxing service set up two minutes. Sanitize your hands. Sanitize your table. Sanitize your hands again. Open your kit and remove tweezer and waxing bag. Close the kit, place tweezer and waxing bag on the table. Sanitize your hands, step back and raise your hand. So after you place your bag on the table, you're gonna sanitize your hands. Then step back and raise your hand and it's the end of that. Tweezer and waxing service, 15 minutes. You're gonna sanitize your hands and then you're gonna remove everything from your tweezer and waxing service bag. Okay, this is everything all neatly removed. Now you're gonna sanitize your hands again. You're gonna apply the head drape, sanitize your hands again, and put on your gloves. Give your hands a chance to dry before you put on the gloves. As you see, they are giving me a hard time. I thought they were dry, but they're not. And that's why it's also good to have extras because one of these gloves ripped. And if I was at state board, it would have been cool to have extras in my state board kit.
tweezing high arch. You're going to saturate a cotton round with antiseptic over the trash can. Apply the antiseptic to each eyebrow. Throw the cotton round away. Wrap a 4x4 four four or a cotton round around your finger on your non-dominant hand, the hand that you won't be tweezing with. Using the tweezers on one eyebrow, demonstrate removing hairs following the natural direction of hair growth. After each tweeze, place hair on the gauze that's wrapped around your finger. Then you're going to throw that gauze away and the tweezers away. You're going to saturate a cotton round with astringent over the trash can. Apply astringent to the treated area where you just tweezed the eyebrow and throw that cotton round away. Eyebrow waxing high arch. Grab a small wax stick. Open the wax and remove the wax. Close the wax container. Test the wax on the inner arm. Throw the wax stick away. So you're testing the temperature on yourself. But on here you see that I waxed and tweezed the same eyebrow. Wax one eyebrow, tweeze the other. You're testing the temperature and now you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna open the wax, you're gonna remove the wax with the stick, you're gonna close the container. Now you're gonna actually wax the eyebrows. So you're gonna apply the wax to the mannequin. You're gonna double brace just like you're really applying it in the direction of the hair. And then you're gonna apply the wax strip just as if you were waxing the mannequin. And then you're gonna hold the skin taut, remove the wax strip, apply pressure, throw that wax strip away. Now you're gonna saturate a cotton round with astringent over the trash can. Apply astringent to the treated area where you just waxed and Throw that cotton round away. Upper lip wax. You're going to saturate a cotton round with antiseptic over the trash can. Apply the antiseptic to one side of the upper lip. Throw away that cotton round. Now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to open the wax over the trash can. I'm just doing it here on the table to show you guys, but you're going to do it over the trash can. You're going to remove the wax. You're going to test it on your arm. You're testing the temperature. Throw that away. You're going to get a wax strip. Remove that wax off your arm. Then you're going to go in and wax the top lip. So you're going to grab a new stick. Open the wax, put the wax on the stick, close the wax, apply it to the top lip, apply the wax strip, remove the wax strip, just as if you were waxing someone. Hold the skin tight and apply pressure. Throw that wax strip away. Saturate a cotton round with astringent over the trash can. Apply astringent to the treated area where you just waxed. 
and throw that cotton round away. Now you're gonna throw away any remaining products from the tweezer and waxing scenario. Then you're gonna throw away your gloves, remove head drape, throw that away, sanitize your workstation, look around, make sure nothing else is on the floor, sanitize your hands, step back and raise your hand. Makeup service set up two minutes. You're going to sanitize your hands, sanitize the table, sanitize your hands. Open the kit and remove makeup service bag. Close the kit. Place the makeup service bag on the table. Sanitize hands, step back, and raise your hand. Makeup service, 15 minutes. Sanitize your hands. Open makeup bag and remove all items. Throw makeup service bag away. Sanitize your hands again. Apply head drape. Okay. So this is where you're gonna apply the head drape, the neck strip, and the cape. Then sanitize hands. Now I could throw that away. And this is actually not a real head drape. This is just a paper towel that I'm using for the moment. I will have a real one. I don't know what happened to mine. It was in my kit and now it's not, but it's not a big deal. So that's where the head drape will go. So I wanted to make sure I did this in the right order. So after I did the head drape and the neck and the cape. I'm pulling out something to just scoop all of my products onto my palette. And your palette should be labeled palette. My palette actually is, you could barely tell, but I'll make it darker. Um, but it is labeled palette and I just have something that I'm gonna scoop all my product out onto my palette so that I'm not using them directly. So I'm doing my foundation, blush, lipstick, every all the makeup that's in my kit except for my eyeliner and my mascara is going to go on this palette. And this is just the way I'm doing it. Like I said before, there's other ways to do it however you want to do it. I just put my lipstick on a cotton swab. And I'm just going to fast forward this because 
basically you know what I'm doing. Like I said before, I have gone over this a lot, so I'm using the same exact sponges. It's not recommended to do this, but definitely you can't do this at State Board. Um, but I have gone over this a lot of times, and I'm using the same sponges for everything. So I'm applying the foundation right now directly from the palette. And then next you want to do the powder. And you want to make sure that the colors actually match the mannequin. You don't want to have like a super dark powder with the light mannequin. You're actually matching the mannequin. You don't want her to look outrageous or ridiculous. Now I'm applying the blush and then foundation. Oh, you want to blend, blend, blend. Make sure you blend it in. This is the eyeliner, so I'm going to sharpen my eyeliner, then I'm going to spray it with alcohol. Now I'm going to double brace and apply the eyeliner. Now in between both of my applications, I did sharpen and sanitize. I'm not sure if you need to. I just figure better be safe than sorry. You're going from one eye to another, so you don't want to spread any infections. If one eye was infected, that was my thought process for this. Um, so yeah, I sanitized, I mean, I sharpened and then I sprayed with alcohol between eyes. And then to close it, I sharpened it and sprayed it with alcohol and put the top back on it. And then that could go in the trash. Now with the mascara, the stick is broken off of it, if you watch my previous video. So I used a different mascara wand for each eye. Like I said, my thought process was that to not spread infection from one eye to another, but I don't know if you have to do that. Just better safe than sorry. So I'm putting mascara on. I'm going to throw that away that um, wand away and then open the mascara again. I'm going to use a different wand for this one. Close it, double brace, apply it to the other eye. Now from my palette, I'm going to put on eyeshadow. Eyeshadow that matches her. That's not ridiculous. I like earth tones with my mannequin. I feel like that should be pretty good. I also checked with the instructor and she said it was okay for this brown. It's just a light brown. And I did the same thing. I did change my um, application between eyes. Not sure if I need to. Better safe than sorry. I just know that sometimes you could have pink eye in one eye or maybe infection in one eye 
and you don't want to spread it. So that's my thought process. Check with your instructor. And then last but not least, the lipstick. My mannequin's lips are small, so I only needed one and I knew it would spread throughout the entire process. And then you're just gonna throw that away. Now you're gonna throw everything away from this scenario. If your mannequin is not already upright, place your mannequin upright and towards the proctor to see. Sanitize your workstation, look around and make sure nothing is on the floor. Sanitize your hands, step back and raise your hand. end of exam disinfection setup 15 minutes so you're going to sanitize your hands you're going to remove the head drape you're going to throw it away in the trash you're going to remove the cape and the neck strip throw that in the trash Throw away all items on the table into the trash except for the EPA approved disinfectant. This includes the mannequin head going in the trash. Make sure you keep your sanitizer on the table. Sanitize your workstation with your EPA approved disinfectant. Okay, you're gonna grab a EPA sanitizer disinfectant. You're gonna sanitize your workstation. Then you're gonna throw that EPA disinfection away. Now you're gonna put one squirt of sanitizer in your hand do not rub in the sanitizer yet you're gonna with the other hand that doesn't have the sanitizer you're gonna grab the drawstring to your trash can and you're going to close it you're gonna pull it up and close it then you're gonna rub in the hand sanitizer now you're gonna step back and raise your hand and you are officially done 